So as developers, we hear the statement all the time. It works on my machine. And today I'm gonna show you how you can set up your environment so you never have to hear that statement ever again using GitHub Code Spaces. What's up y'all, it's B-Duggy, and I'm gonna show you a really cool trick with GitHub Code Spaces and how you can set up a dev container environment uh, for your project, but also be leveraged in any other project. So GitHub Code Spaces is a full-on development environment uh, based on VS Code, the open source version of VS Code. It's a great way to test out code, uh, specifically in your environment from GitHub. Or right, let's say you wanna check out a pull request to review that code, you can hit the drop down button and open with Code Spaces. Now today I'm gonna show you how you can set up your environment so that way no matter who checks out your code uh, on GitHub, they'll have a dev container environment and this is built in directly uh, within GitHub's code spaces. So without further ado, let's check it out. Today we're gonna run through setting up a basic JavaScript project on code spaces. And if you're unfamiliar with code spaces, code spaces provides you with the instant cloud developer environment. And the power of this environment lies in the ability of having set customizations through containers to power any member of the repository with the working environment. So here I have a project that I've been working on for quite some time and I'm ready to start sharing it and having other developers contribute with me. So I head over to the project and select the code tab and create a new code space. So while we wait, I wanna point out that I've done no configuration to set this up. So this is available to all GitHub repos on github.com. So you can see we have a, a set of tools and runtimes automatically available for us to work with. So as mentioned before, this is a JavaScript project. So I'm gonna run npm install to get this set up and get to my node modules local, and then go ahead and run npm start to see it running live. So notice in the lower right-hand corner, it's notifying me that I can open this up in the browser, which I'll go ahead and do that. And here it's gonna be port forwarding to a dev preview URL. And there it is. My project's live in the browser, ready to go and working. But I can confirm that this works for me <laughs> in this environment, but I wanna make sure this works on local environments, uh, on, on VS Code and their desktops, as well as any container or cloud host environment as well. So if I head back to my space, I can open up the command palette to generate a container file to ensure that this setup works everywhere. And to do that, I'm gonna use the shortcuts to open up the command palette and search for container files. Uh, so I'm just gonna click the first one, which is Node.js, because I am running Node.js here. Uh, and because Node 16 is out, I might as well go ahead and get this ready and test this um, in this environment. And it's gonna create two different files for me. One's gonna be the container JSON file, which is gonna identify my Node versions, as well as uh, point out a couple different extensions that if I wanted to have installed on other environments, if other folks are using VS Code, will be installed by default, or at least notify them to install them. The other file is gonna be the Docker file, and this is what's gonna run our container and make sure that every environment is set up. So because this is connected to my GitHub repo, I can check this in the source control by creating a new branch and pushing that up to my GitHub repository. And at this point, we can now just review this in a PR, but I'll save that for later. So we went from having a basic JavaScript project with no configuration at all, to having a fully running container that can run on any environment. If you want to find out more information on setting up your environment for other languages and frameworks, check out docs.github.com. So if you enjoyed that and you're using Codespaces, let me know below how you're using Codespaces in your environment, either with your team or in your projects. Uh, also, if you don't have Codespaces access yet and you signed up for beta, maybe drop your GitHub handle in the comments and maybe I can help you out there. If you are interested in checking out GitHub Copilot, uh, why don't you check out this video right here.